Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P, and in this video I'd like to talk to you about Expand X portable display with 2K resolution and a keyboard that you can buy as an extra. Let's begin. This portable monitor and the keyboard I found on AliExpress and I ordered it about a month or so ago. It took about half a month, I think of maybe three weeks to arrive to my front door. And since I arrived, I was keep testing it and playing around and just see, is it worth it to spend? I think it totally cost me around $170 for all this. So I have my talking point here, talking points here on that separate monitor that I want to cover in this video. And I hopefully by the end of this video, you will basically, you will feel if it's a right choice for you to go and purchase or you gonna just carry on and looking for something else so let's begin with inside the box content inside the box was 18 watt european style adapter with uk adapter i am not i haven't used them at all during this testing pro period because they just don't feel safe enough i just don't want to put my house on fire and the uk adapter is missing the third pin so i decided not to use them at all and i was using the same adapter that arrived with my next dock 2 which is 60 watts and Charging still was rubbish of this portable display. I will cover in a second. Besides the charger and adapter, there was obviously a detachable keyboard as I because I ordered it extra. This detachable keyboard cost extra $50 and I'll let you know if it's worth it or not. It was two USB type C cables. One is for charging and one is for connecting your Galaxy device to the side of this portable display. User manual and obviously the actual display itself. So before going over and talking about display, I want to go and talk to you about the keyboard. As soon as I picked this keyboard off, out of the box, uh, my first, first thought was, oh, well, that feels cheap. And it is. It's basically a plastic fantastic thing that I paid $50 for it. And to be honest, uh, straight away, out of the bat, it's not worth at all $50. It's a nice bonus thing to have for the monitor because it acts same as the... Uh, as a screen protector, but as a keyboard, okay, as a keyboard, it's a right to type one or two sentences there and then that's it, but not to be used as a, let's say, a permanent input device. This keyboard has a POGA style connectors here, the same as you can find on the some um, Microsoft Surface Pro devices. It's not backlit keyboard. It sounds plastic when you're trying to type. And it's great. Uh, and for top bit is plastic the bottom bit it feels like fake leather which slightly like stops the old device to moving or sliding across the table it's not like really sticks to the table but it just stops for moving around there is three magnets i think there are two here and one is here which keeps the keyboard attached to this display and without like it's gonna protect the screen basically that's that's a 50 dollars uh, $50 worth of protection, protect, screen protector, not the keyboard, I would say. So it's just properly clips on and it's free because the fourth one is missing as they really needed to put the buttons here. So there's a button so they not put any magnets here. What is really annoying me about this keyboard is there is no function keys, there is no escape key, and there is no a meta key. Basically, these buttons, the most important buttons on any keyboard, they're missing. And I mean, why? Okay, function keys I'm sort of can live without using Samsung DeX in some way, but escape key and the meta key, they're like most used keyboard keys for my during my use. I mean, why, why, why this being decided to remove? And I mean, it's really, really annoying me. So this is biggest downside of this keyboard and you spend $50 on this. I mean, this costs $50. And this one will cost you about $50 as well on Amazon. And if you can find this on sale, it's gonna be even cheaper. So why spend $50 on this uh, plastic thing when you can spend $50 on Logic A380, which has a lot of buttons. It has meta key, it has escape key. And yes, all the functions keys as well. And you can connect to three different devices and switch between them on the fly. So that's basically the keyboard. It's $50 of, of a piece of the plastic. Right, let's go to a fun bit, which is a portable monitor. Let's go to my bullet points about the monitor. Right, ports. On the right, right hand side, we have headphone jack and USB Type C for data. So it's like an OTG connection. I try to connect the keyboard, mouse, uh, game controller, USB keys, etc. And they all worked according to the manual. The data port on the right is USB Type 
C version 2 and data port on the left, USB type C version 3. But to be honest, I haven't noticed any difference between them. They have worked exactly the same for me. At the top, we have power button, volume rocker, which acts like a OSD menu navigation buttons. And then we have OSD button, which you press once, you will see a battery life. If you press and hold, it acts as a back button. And then inside the OSD menu, when you're navigating, pressing once, it acts like OK or entry button. And on the left hand side, we have USB type C for charging. We have USB type C to data. So that's the second one. We have USB type C to connect to Galaxy device. And then we have mini HDMI. There are two speakers located ones on the left and the right. And I expected them to be rubbish, but they actually quite good. They're about around average, just over the average quality. Um, they're not like super amazing speakers. You're not, um, you're not gonna enjoy uh, every rich detail of the music that you're going to listen, but they're really decent speakers. Actually, they're much better than the U-Perfect X speakers that I reviewed uh, just recently. And the, those speakers are on the X-Band X are much better than U-Perfect X. According to their website, this live portable display has 10,000 milliamps battery. According to the manual, this portable display has 5,000 milliamps battery. So which one to believe? Well, after my testing, I would say it's very close to 10,000 milliamps battery because this portable display fully charged lasted for around five hours during my video playback time, exactly the same amount as the Uperfect X did, which this definitely has 10,000 milliamps battery. So like I said, I wasn't using the supplied power brick. I was using the Nexdoc 260 watts uh, power brick and charging this large display was really slow. T it takes forever to charge it, by the way, because maybe I used the, the more powerful one, more powerful wall plug than what they supplied. This area where is the charging port, this area was getting pretty hot. I mean, it wasn't really like hot, worrying hot, but it was a bit toasty. So maybe just like I said, because my power brick was uh, too much powerful or just generally that's what should happen with this monitor, but it was getting a bit hot. So um, during the testing of the battery life, uh, I fully charged this display. I connected my Galaxy Tab S6 and then I done the same testing with the Note 9. And I noticed that this, tab, this display is not outputting enough power to keep my Galaxy device charged as well. So my Note 9 and my Galaxy Tab S6 were losing around 1% every 45 minutes. But if I was supplying the power to this monitor and then passing the power to Galaxy devices, both devices, Tab S6 and Note 9, were getting the power, so battery was getting charged at a rate of 1% every an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. So speed, charging speed of the Galaxy device connected to this is not great at all. Next thing is build quality, uh, all aluminum backed, very comfortable to hold and won't gonna slide from your hands, but the finish is so easy to scratch. It already has uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that the scratch? Eight, eight dense scratches. Oh, nine here, literally, oh no, that's just a, just a piece of dust. Um, metal kickstand, at once you open, it looks like a very flimsy and wobbly thing, but it's actually quite sturdy and you can open somewhere at around 140 degrees all the way. So it's very comfortable when it's fully open to use for gaming or just interacting with an app on the display that requires touchscreen inputs. But another thing about the, this stand, so if you're gonna obviously use this way, so that's great. But if you just op gonna open slightly just a bit and then interact with the screen, the display will just slowly go down to a fully open. Because it's all metal around, it's gonna scratch your desk very, very easily. Uh, it doesn't scratch mine, but just in case, if you have very, very gentle desk, it might might give you a couple of scratches on there. Um, the metal thing, what happened with the kickstand when it's closed? There's a magnet here, goes around the around the edge. So when you close it, it sort of shuts and magnet keeps in. And there's a metal channel here, which is uh, already started to peel off after one hour or two use. So I put a lot of Gorilla Glue in here just to keep that in one place. So just one of the things to mention to you, just in case if you're gonna get this monitor, you will know that this piece of the metal might fall off. Right, let's go to the fun bit now. This is 13.3 inches IPS panel, which runs a 2K resolution, which is 2560 by 1440p. Yes, my friend, you can connect your Galaxy device and get yourself a 2K Samsung DeX output. My Note 9 only does 1080p for some reason but my Galaxy Tab S6 does uh, 2K output. And I was using this portable monitor with my Samsung, De Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 all the time because it's 2K resolution. I wanted to um, 
test it out because come on this portable monitor selling point i would say is 10,000 milliamps power back battery and it runs a 2k resolution for productivity 2k resolution on this 13.3 inches display for my personal use is just bad i mean everything's so small and it's just it's not comfortable to use for productivity it's just not it's, when when you're reading a big lengthy wall of text or something or editing or writing documents i just found that um i always kept increasing text size uh, and the websites keep zooming in just to read the text properly for productivity 2k resolution on this monitor is not for me but for media consumption and gaming this is amazing screen for media consumption i was using to watch um, like netflix and youtube etc everything looks perfect so for media consumption yes and for gaming i decided to test two cloud gaming services with this portable display one is microsoft X, microsoft xbox game cloud a uh, game pass cloud thingy and i was playing forza 4 horizon one thing about game pass all the games outputs are by default the 1080p 60 hertz and you can change resolution it looked all right 1080p on this monitor looked all right but once i went and changed to shadow pc and shadow pc and then loaded forza 4 horizon using microsoft store and i changed resolution to everything max to 2k this screen was showing forza 4 game absolutely amazing i enjoyed the playing the game so much it, it looked super great overall if you're looking to buy yourself a, a first ever portable display this is a really good choice for you to go for 2k resolution 10,000 milliamps battery your galaxy device might work at 2k might not so that's one of the things to consider but overall you have two usb type c data ports bonus you have 2k resolution bonus you have a kickstand which is an eh, but you can open all the way out and use this as a touch tablet sort of thing on the samsung decks come on keyboard bonus so it is a decent choice if you're looking to buy yourself a first portable display anyway like i said it's it's, it's a right screen I, i'm gonna keep using this as a media consumption but nothing else another thing i have here on my notes to mention to you that if this video that you just watched till the end which i appreciate is you're still not sure if this more portable monitor is for you i leave a link in the description below which will take you to samsung dex subreddit group and there is a post by rt Steeler, one of our members he's he has exactly the same portable monitor and a keyboard and he's done a very well well written written review about this unit so go and check it out that review so two opinions are better than one thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video gives you enough insight about this display and the keyboard and thank you don't forget to subscribe to samsung deck subreddit group is almost 13,000 of us there and obviously click like on this video and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one goodbye